guys welcome to my channel it is me nika i know i'm doing a very late upload but i wanted to go ahead and get this week's upload out of the way since i recorded it so a lot of you guys follow i'm saving up to get my very own art studio because i have outgrown my space if you would like to donate you can donate to my cash app or my Venmo, and they both will be in the description box below okay so now we got it out of the way i decided that i wanted to try the border effect but i wanted to do it with a custom mixed peach so i custom mixed the peach and i'm actually going to show you guys what i did to custom mix it as well as the blowout so without further ado let's jump into it but let's enjoy the intro first Hey, what's up you guys we are jumping right into it um we are starting by doing a custom mix of this beautiful peach i'm using liquitex titanium white cadmium red and cadmium i don't even know if i'm saying that right but i'm using a red and a yellow and a white now i'm gonna take one to one of white and yellow and mix it first this kind of like pastel yellow like a canary yellow I'm going to take red and and then I'm going to add that and mix it till I get to the shade of peach that I want And you'll just add your red as you see fit and see look that didn't take long at all I got this beautiful mix custom peach and now we're gonna go ahead and jump into pouring well I'm gonna mix it first and then I'm gonna pour but I have I have courses on mixing so I'm not gonna show the whole thing here Alright, jumping right into it, I'm going to put my border down first because I'm doing a peach border. Um, these canvases I poured with ready-made paint, oh, ready to mix and pour paint. I have never done this before and I will never do it again. I will stick to mixing my own paints. I thought I was going to be able to take a little step out where I don't have to mix the paint because honestly, when I have really big pieces, that's the only part I don't like doing is mixing the paint. But I'll stick to mixing because this was atrocious. I'm talking about the colors split so much. The binders didn't hold up. Like, I am not for ready to pour painting. Not at all. I need to be able to mix it myself and control this. But yeah, now I am just taking this mix. Look at how beautiful that peach is. If this is not already a color, 
with liquid text i don't believe it is and if it is it's definitely not a color that is available near me if it's not already a color they need to make this a color because it's so pretty look at it Ugh. Hey, now that my base is all blown out, I'm just going to go around the edges and make sure I go ahead and clean those up very well so that I don't have to do it later on because that would not be very fun <laughs> to have to go and clean this up before it ships out. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up now and I'm going to start laying my paints. All of the colors will be in the description box below as always. From the most part, I'm using all Liquitex and I believe I am using only one no, I'm using two other um, brands. The copper, nope, that's not true. I'm using rose gold and it's from um, Art Deco. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> I, I, it's so gorgeous. I cannot wait for you guys to see it because I'm going to do some close ups. But yeah, everything else is Liquitex and that is the only thing that is um, from a different company and it is Art Deco, the rose gold. Now that I have all of the colors I'm going to blow out down, I'm just going to outline that with white and this is going to act as my flood since this is just, for me this is just how I control how much paint goes on the canvas and 
me pouring my paint this way I get the perfect blowout every single time my paints don't move it's worth it to me so I'm gonna go ahead and put my white down and then I'm gonna blow it out um, I want you guys to pay attention to how I blow the colors out I'm sorry well blow the white out um, I have these corners that I have to get to and I use a blow dryer that has a wider nozzle so that I can kind of like like get in the corners a little bit easier like I don't go full full first I said full first I don't go forward I kind of go to the side and with the nozzle being so wide it can hit the sides without me um, blowing out my colors before I'm ready to actually blow them out like here you see how I'm able to I mean, this is the best blow dryer ever and it's only like $11 And in those areas where there was not enough white paint, instead of taking the cup and pouring it, I could risk the chance of putting too much paint there and too much paint will cause it to shift. I'm just gonna take the condiment bottle and squeeze it in those areas where I'm missing just a little bit of paint. And this is just also going to further control how much paint goes on my canvas. Now to the fun part, we are gonna blow this out. Now with these little open mirror portal things, you have to be a little bit more controlled with how you blow it if you want them to look similar. I don't want them to look exactly alike, but I do want them to look very similar. So I'm going to take my time and blowing this out and I'm gonna blow it out half and half. Like I'm gonna blow it out in sections. I'm not gonna go around the whole thing because I don't wanna forget the movements that I'm taking to blow this out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and manually blow, blow with my mouth in certain areas. And yeah, this is just going to help me to remember what movements I'm making. And I don't wanna make too many movements and not remember what I'm doing for the other canvas. So I'm just gonna do this in pieces, in pots, if you will. about done getting it blown out um, off camera I did go in some areas and blow it out with my mouth but this is how it looks this rose gold is going to look stunning once it's dry because it's already super beautiful we have some very nice natural cells look at that look at how beautiful those colors are together that teal and that lighter purple I think this is brilliant purple and this beautiful peach recreated i have some very nice fade outs like i really love this and i believe i'm gonna just wait till it dries and then top it with resin because i think that that resin will make the rose gold pop that much more as always thank you guys so much for joining i appreciate you Mwah.